Uh, first of all, I took the top of it off. And this, by the way, is for an 070 uh, steel clone. And I took this top off here. I lost the gasket for it. So I'm going to have to use some silicone to make a gasket on this. Or I'm going to have to make one out of paper. So this is the top of it. It has all these screws. Uh, six of them. And then right here is the very thin paper valve body or whatever you would call it paper valve type thing or plastic I guess it would be and that goes right here on this like this and it does have uh, locating pins uh, there you can see one and over here and then over here in this area so this um, thing goes on here like this well if I can figure it out like that <clears throat> and right here on this uh, fiber or plastic thing right here are the valves all right and uh, I guess that you would say this would be the diaphragm and then here's uh, a gasket right here and I think I tore it somewhat trying to get it off so maybe I'm gonna have to replace that too and you take that off here you can see some of the dirt in here this is a, a some sort of a diaphragm right here and looks like it's in good shape there's dirt in here right there so I'm gonna have to clean that out so you sort of put this together like this and then squirt your carb carb cleaner in there in these passages Dirt needs to be get, get gotten out of there. So we'll see how this works. Uh, this diaphragm, you can see that when I poke it, it seems to be okay. Uh, this saw was bought this year in 20. 20 and so it's in fairly good shape I haven't used it a whole lot but I have used it some I'll just clean all these passages out Well, I finally got this gasket off of here, and it's broken in several different places. And the reason why it broke is that these little grooves, or these little ridges right here, 
uh, that are all over here to seal the surface uh, th some of those have broken through and the gasket is, is somewhat destroyed and uh, my guess is it's around 40 or 50 maybe 70 thousandths of an inch thick and you can see this sort of pattern on the back here where uh, the grooves were so I'm gonna have to make another gasket and right here some gasket material and I'm gonna have to clean the gasket material and then trace around this make a pattern and cut it out hey what uh, we're gonna do here is I'm going to take this gasket, this paper gasket, and so what we're going to do is try to uh, duplicate this gasket. It's got a lot of little uh, holes in it and very intricate cutting in it. So I'll show you how I did that. Uh, first, I put this uh, gasket on this on this uh, gasket material, and then just go around it. Now here you can see some of the details about it, if I can get, get it to focus on here. Now uh, here's my uh, outline, and what I did was, I took this X-Acto knife and I cut out each area. Now one of the things that you have to remember about tracing something like this is that this pencil tip, it has a width to it. And the center line of the pencil width is not going to trace this outline perfectly because the center line of this point is going to be some distance away from the edges of this material and so what I did was I took all these lines here and for instance this one here since the width of the of the tip is going to be different than the profile of the gasket I took and I drew lines and made this a little bit bigger than the actual 
profile that I drew. And so I went around every one of these lines again and made it like this. It's very difficult to see how I did that. But you can't make it too big because, for instance, right here, I found in this area right here, I had to, to go around this hole, for instance, and this hole, and this area, and it's very close right here and there is a ridge on the carburetor part that runs through this area and it, the ridge is there to make it seal even better so anyways I did cut out the uh, gasket I installed it already into the carburetor and that gasket is right in here and you can see part of the gasket right here and then I made sure after I put it on there that the, all these screws would go in and then approximately on this area here this inlet for the gas I made sure that this was in the right clock position. In other words, if this were a clock right here, this would be pointing at about 10 o'clock. I made sure that this orientation after I put it back together would be correct so that I can get the uh, gas line on. If I had taken this outlet inlet here, and put it clear over here I would never get the uh, the line on correctly so I tightened each one of these down I put the um, all the proper gasket materials and uh, uh, there was a sort of a uh, film like material that went on top of this gasket. I put that back in. Made sure it was all cleaned out with carburetor cleaner. Made sure it was all cleaned out with carburetor cleaner. And now I'm gonna put it back on.